Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm a librarian here at the Douglas Library, and I wanted to read you a story today. Today's story is called Jammy Day. It's written by Carrie Snyder, and it's illustrated by Brooke Kerrigan. Cliffy was in the middle. He had a big brother and a big sister. He had a little brother and a little sister. He had a nice cat that never scratched him, not even when Cliffy petted her fur the wrong way. Cliffy's big brother and big sister thought they knew everything. Cliffy's little brother and little sister hardly knew anything. Cliffy was in the middle. He knew what he knew, but most of all, he knew what he liked. One morning, Cliffy woke up, went downstairs, and got breakfast. Nobody noticed. He turned his porridge into a volcano and let the cat eat from his spoon. Nobody noticed. It was getting late. Finally, somebody noticed. Cliffy, said his mom, get dressed. It's time for school. But Cliffy did not want to get dressed, so he did something a little bit funny, a little bit fuzzy. It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his mom. She might not have been paying attention. Cliffy put on his boots and his coat over top of his pajamas. Then he put on his scarf and his hat and he walked to school. Are you wearing pajamas? asked Cliffy's teacher. It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his teacher. She might not have been paying attention. The only tricky part about jammy day was the zipper. The best part about jammy day was the cozy flannel. No, the best part about jammy day was being super duper comfy. Comfy. No, wait. The best part was the footies. Swish. Cool pajamas, said all the girls in Cliffy's class. Awesome pajamas, said all the boys in Cliffy's class. Thanks, said Cliffy. He didn't tell them it was jammy day. The kids knew. They were paying attention. After school, Cliffy's dad gave him a snack. He asked, what are you wearing? It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his dad. He might not have been paying attention. The next morning, Cliffy woke up, went downstairs, and got breakfast. Get dressed! You're late, said his mom. But Cliffy knew what he knew, and he knew what he liked. It's jammy day, said Cliffy. Oh, said his mom. Again? It's jammy day, said Cliffy to his teacher. Oh, said his teacher. Again? It's jammy day, said Cliffy to the girls and the boys in his class. Oh, said the boys and girls. We know. Half of them were wearing pajamas, too. It's jammy week, said Cliffy to his mom, to his dad, to his brothers and sisters, to the cat. It's jammy month, said Cliffy, to anyone who would pay attention. Jammy month? Cliffy was in the middle, and that's the best place to be if you know what you know and you know what you like. Jammy year, 
See, he's growing. There's a hole from a skateboard and a swing set. And his grandma put a patch on his butt. He got grape juice on the front and he tore it in a potato sack race and he got mud on it from a mud fight. The end. Thank you so much for letting me read a story for you today. Once again, the name of the book is called Jammy Day. Um, it's written by Carrie Snyder and it's illustrated by Brooke Kerrigan. If you'd like to check it out, we have it available for checkout um, in our children's department. So just give us a call um, or come on by and we'll get it for you. Have a nice day. Bye.